can be alone. Now, it's not a true story, but <laughs> I'm going to show you a picture of Jane. Um, this is the house. It was just a standard three-bedroomed ex-council house. But, you know, inside, it was like a, it was luxury. There was uh, seven interior doors, and each door cost the lady a £1,000. She imported the tiles in the bathroom from Italy herself. So it's a lovely house inside. Uh, there's Jane, um, and there's Masood, and there's their love child. No, that's her grandchild there. Um, and she wrote us a testimonial, and uh, she wrote at the top there, Doug and Masood. And you see Masood spelt with a love heart. No. She was so happy at what we'd done for her. So although we got ourselves a great deal, it was a win-win-win situation. And uh, we sold the property on, on an instalment contract in order to maximise our profits. So although we purchased using um, a no money down strategy, buying below market value, we still want to make further profits. So to maximise those, instalment contracts gives us the answer. The so is going to give us the numbers. Aside from 189995, I thought, look, if we can sell all the negative equity properties well above market value, why we can't sell the properties that we bought on a discount well above market value on installment contract? And that's exactly what we did. We moved the buyer with £5,000 deposit, training doctors again. Uh, this property gives us £606 net cash flow a month after we pay the mortgage. So we locked in our doctors for, again, seven years. So um, we calculated in over five years, this is going to give us £36,000 net profit just on cash flow and £57,000 back end profit if they were to complete 2016. Oh, okay. on top of that. Well, yes, no, no hikes in interest rates. If our rate goes up, the buyer's rate goes proportionally. So we got um, that covered. So it's not like a <coughs> lease option where if your rent goes, you can't increase the rent proportionally. No voids. We have put a buyer in. We haven't moved the tenant in. No maintenance, no repairs. No fees. Monsieur, how much have we made from this property? You tell me. Over £100,000. On a property that we paid zero for, zero money. How many of you don't like this deal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, let's, can you pass me that contract over, please? Thank you. This is a joint venture agreement, and this is what we use to control or purchase our properties. This is the only document we use. Those of you that are aware of lease options or purchase options, you will probably be using a heads of terms. Heads of terms is a scrap of paper that you write the terms on, send it to the solicitors and hope that the solicitor gets it back to you in time before you lose your buyer. And that tends to, tends to be what happens. So you wait and wait and wait for the document to come back and the buyer disappears. When we're with a seller, sorry, when the seller disappears, sorry. So when we're with a seller, the seller signs this document and has it all uh, uh, witnessed and they initial every page so that they can confirm that they've read every page. They can literally hand the keys to us and walk away. Um, so each document is tailored to the individual circumstances. It's tailored as simple as we fill in the blanks in the document. So the document contains, it's a general document, contains lots of blanks, and we fill them in depending on the circumstances of the seller. Each um, contract enables us to take instant control over the property because it contains a power of attorney, which is very, very powerful. It enables us to do whatever we wish with the property. Buy it, sell it, move in, living it, whatever. Subject to repairs agreed twice at the, at the agreed time. So it determines the terms and conditions of the contract. It, uh, it contains the length of the contract. It then contains a lock-in agreement and, more importantly, a third-party authority. Third-party party authority gives us authority to speak with the seller's lender. So if we're going to babysit the mortgage payments, we need to speak to the lender to, to get certain information back, and we also need to let the lender know that we are now making payments on behalf of the seller. There isn't a, a bank in this land that will not accept third-party payments, just in case you were wondering. So, Mr. five simple steps. Very easy. <coughs> Find a motivated seller. Control or buy with a single legal document called joint venture agreement, 12 pages, very simple. Fill the blanks, 
find a buyer, we use our right move account. Again, we're on top of right move every time we search for a property in London, lowest price, our properties are number one. 